My old Beamer's got 250,000 miles on it, most of which were not put on by me. But it has been having a little problem with cylinder three lately. Now by some possible chance, this car has all of its original ignition coils from 23 years ago. It's got all its original date coded January of 2000 ignition coils. quarter million miles that's kind of a lot so I have a mist on three which admittedly has the lowest compression not by much but by enough so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna swap coils one and three Let's see if the misfire follows it if it follows it it's a cylinder one it's the coil. If it doesn't, it's something else. Spark plugs are brand new. As you can see, so this is the number three coil. Somebody labeled it. And the note says 030100, and that is the European date. So it's 3rd of January, 2000. This car's build date was January 25th, so it fits. But I'm going to swap these around. I'm going to drive it. I'm going to see if the misfire follows it if it doesn't we're gonna have some fun with the head gasket W80% of the hardware on this thing is 10 millimeter. And I'm using my ancient non brushless Milwaukee because it won't break the bolt on. It's too weak. My new Milwaukee is what I lovingly call the Bolt Breaker 9000 because that's all it does is break stuff. I'm not putting the engine cover back on because I'm going to be in here again. And before I get too carried away, I'm going to clear all the faults in the ECU and make sure I'm actually getting a proper diagnosis. Surprisingly, it's not showing the miss that it's been throwing me, even though I've been driving the car. It is giving me the road speed fault because one of the wheel speed sensors went out. But I'm going to go ahead and clear everything just to make sure there's no surprises. Double check. Yep, everything's happy. So I'll take it for a spin drive the crap out of it for a week and see what happens.